Hi, good day everyone. It's me again, Captain Scott from AATA. And today's flight will be on a Diamond DA-40 NG aircraft. So now we'll be doing a pre-flight inspection to make sure it's safe for them, our following flight. So like the last time, we've made sure the um, aircraft documents and all the PITO covers, it's all removed. So now we'll do a uh, thorough first walk around to make sure everything is all fine and well. So we're now going to start from the left side of the aircraft. Have a look at the bottom. So all the antennas, it's all fine, no burn marks and it's in good condition. So this will be the um, transponders at antenna, the uh, DME's antenna, our traffic avoidance collision um, antenna, it's all in good condition. Now from the bottom, we can also have a look at the um, landing gear. So the fairing condition, it's all good and intact. The strut is also okay. Have a look at the tires, the groove, is sufficient and is proper, properly inflated. Now from there, we can have a look at our wing. The leading edge and the top and bottom surface is all in good condition. Have a look at the stall warning horn. Nothing is obstructing it. Our fuel tank cover is properly secured. It's flush to the wing. And the bottom fuel tank vent, there is no fuel leaking from the vent. So that's all fine. Again, the front part of it, there's no obstruction. The lights condition are all well. No dents or anything like that. The winglets, again, the static wick, again, is in good condition. It's not burned or anything. Now the ailerons, have a look at the cockpit. The controls are moving together. And our flaps, they're firm and there's no clay in it. Now from the back, we have the static port. Again, make sure it's clean. Back section of the aircraft, we have a couple of antennas as well. So this is the marker beacon antenna and the uh, VHF-2. So both seems to be in good condition as well. The top part of the tailplane, we have the uh, traffic avoidance antenna as well as the um, VHF-1 antenna. And both of them seems to be fine. There's no burn marks. All right, let's move on to the empennage of the aircraft. The tail skid plate, it's good, smooth, and our rudder, have a look at the uh, cable connection. So it's got tension on it. Our elevator is controlled by control rods. So let's have a look at the physical condition. The connection is all good. And our elevator trim is moving along with our elevator. So that's fine. The uh, static wick as well, um, again, just to have a look at the condition, make sure there's no burn marks, so it's all functioning well. And let's move on to the right side. Again, the empennage seems fine. The static port, again, make sure it's clean and there's no dirt over it. Now on the right wing will be exactly the same as the left wing. Right, for the right side of the wing, um, the checks will be exactly the same as the left side, so make sure everything is just in good condition and functioning well. Now we're back to the front of the aircraft. So from the front, we'll have to look at the uh, nose wheel again. Um, the fairing is in good condition and the tyres are inflated as well. Have a look at the governor. There is no fuel leak. All seems fine. The propellers. So for the propellers, there are no cracks or dents detected. And there are no gearbox all spill from the back. So that's all fine. The intakes, let's have a look at the uh, intercooler intake, the radiator, make sure there's nothing obstructing it. And the engine intake, it's all clear as well. Back to the left side, we'll have a look at the engine bay. Make sure there's no foreign objects in there. We'll check the gearbox, um, gearbox all um, quantity from here and also our engine all quantity. Right, um, so for the right wing check, it's going to be exactly the same as the left wing. However, um, although it's exactly the same, but we'll still have to make sure everything is checked thoroughly and um, make sure it's all in good condition as well. So for the DA40NG, there are three different drain points, two under the wing and one under the engine. So for the fuel drain under the wing, it's directly above the landing gear. We'll fill one third of the fuel drain and have a look and make sure there is no water or debris left in there. Again, it's going to be at the exact same position. We'll drain another one third. 
have a look at it once again. It's all fine. So the third one is the gas escalator under the engine. Again, you have to make sure there is no water or debris left in there. And all three drain points looks fine. Now that the plane has been properly checked out and we've confirmed that it's safe for the flight, we are now good to go. Right, thanks again for joining me for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.